what's doing. Hmm. How to handle this? Got a special running today. Fancy a chat? We did it. All right. Amazing.
Well then... in a storm. Ah, just you. Thank you. 
Now then. Now then. Listen. What? No. <laughs> That's why. Why? You. That's right. Hmm. I see now. Whoa. Utterly naive. Speaking of... <laughs> you... As it is. Yet still they oppose me. Farewell. Huh? <laughs> See you. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Announcement is soon. No. All right, then. This <laughs> is...
So, we meet again. What do you think? Fair enough. Oh, I am good for... All right, then.
Next up is... Oh, right! No. Exactly! It would seem the disaster was averted. Right then. 
Today's Forden's big announcement. Wonder what he's planning. I guess the church has to have some reaction to all that stuff the king said. Whatever it is, Luis won't be able to just ignore it. This might be a day that goes down in history. Ladies and gents, lend me your ears! Sanctifex Forden has spoken! The giant face in the sky, the massive rocks appearing throughout the land, and the mysterious voice claiming to be the past king. The Sanctus Church has officially recognized these happenings as the will of His Royal Majesty. <gasps> so it really is His Majesty. And so, as His Majesty has decreed, whoever has gained the greatest trust of the people by the day of decision shall... This is a historic moment, good citizens. It's revolutionary. It's unprecedented. Anyone? Even me? If, and this is a big if, you are the person that all our people trust mo- Maybe you could be king yourself, eh? You're popular and- Me? In charge? <laughs> well, that's the last thing this country needs. First, the new faces that have appeared on the rock. It shows us who's foremost in the running. We've worked out that much. The top three of the lot are also shown in the sky. Suppose that way you can see their inspiring faces anytime, anywhere. Hold on. How's us common folk supposed to stand a chance against all these upper crusters? Say you do become popular. With your face clear for all to see, surely that'd make you a prime target for a sad. Not quite, friend. Not quite. A valid concern, but one His Majesty prepared for. Popular aspirants, at least those who make it onto the rock, are protected by royal magic. Magic chains will spring to life and bind anyone who tries. I saw it happen with my own eyes to Count Luis's so- So, literally anyone could be king? Even a pauper? Or a- H Hold on, you mean to say we might not be ruled by Clamar? What does that mean for us? Right, I've said my piece. You know all I know. Now go forth, ladies and gents. Whether you're from our fair capital or the middle of nowhere, the crown's within your grasp. Anyone in the land could be our next king. I heard the announcement. The church has chosen to recognize this face's words as crown sent and shall abide by them. They conceded that one quickly. Though I suppose it's a hard thing to deny, what with the royal palace hanging up there in the cloud. Had they rushed a coronation for his eminence, Forden, it would have dashed any hope of reinstating his highness. A small comfort. I can tell from your face there's some bad news too. Do you recall those chains that froze Alsace in place? Plainly, any candidates of sufficient favor cannot be deposed by force. That's not good. No, tis not indeed. This marks Luis as nigh untouchable. I will still seek to find him. Yet, even should we stand before the man... No! If we can't kill him, then how do we break the curse? What the hell was the king thinking? Grius was trying to save his son. He died for it. Even so, without this magic, no aspirant would be safe from assassination, leaving Luis to dominate through sheer martial strength. <sighs> we appear to be at an impasse. Everyone, have you seen Maria? Did something happen? I checked her room and she isn't there. She wouldn't just leave without telling anyone. I... I couldn't deal with losing both of them. I...
I'll go look for her. You... you will? Thank you. When I think of what might happen to her... If she left her room on her own, she must have had some reason. Let's go search for her. If we head into town, we might find some clues. Where? You're kidding! <sighs> Whatever. Well, well. All right, then.
Now then, if you say you'll help. Close your eye, oh, close your eye. Everyone was worried about you. Sorry. Papa hasn't come home. And I always come here whenever I'm feeling lonely. One time he came here to get me. I remember because he called my name. But... I pray. And he still doesn't come back. Maria. Miss Fabian says Papa can't come home anymore. I know Papa's gone away. He's gone somewhere. I'll never see him again, hasn't he? <sighs> it's... It's going to be so lonely. The loneliest it's ever been. But I have to be strong, don't I? But if it gets any lonelier, I... I don't know if I can do it. I'm sorry. Why does everyone always leave? Mum was sick. The king and prince are gone. Is it my fault? I really did my best to be a good girl, but... That's not why. He's right, Maria. It's not your fault at all. Listen to me, all right? We were with him, but... I remember Papa saying something like that. He said, a really bad man might be our king. Is that part of it? It'll work out somehow. I'm sure of it. Hmm. I hope the next king is as nice as you. Then maybe things won't always be so sad. Hmm. I think I understand the King's intentions now. Maybe this is the sort of tragedy he was trying to end. Maybe he wanted a world where the crown goes to one who acts like a king ought to. Not whoever's willing to spill the most blood to do it. You may be right. But much as we wish it, this is not a fight that might be ended through words alone. Even so, we have to try. Like she's worked things out. She's a strong girl. But we've more troubles ahead. How now do we resolve this curse upon his highness? If Luis is the curse's caster, we've got to kill him to dispel it. So how do we do that if he's shielded by the king himself? I wish I could report back, but the prince is still asleep, and we're losing time. We cannot lose faith yet. There must be some further course we can pursue. Well, there's the church's announcement. 
I expect they're trying to stop a wave of rival candidates from... I doubt the church would accept this popularity contest if they didn't already have a plan to game it. True enough. I can only wonder at their aims. <sighs> Sorry, did I wake you? Laying here, I always end up caught in my own thoughts. Grius and Maria. The prince. <sighs> Just thinking in circles again. Not good, is it? Let's think about it together. <laughs> Keeping me company, are you? <laughs> you really are a strange one. That book. Is that the novel you're always carrying around? <laughs> Feels like months ago now that I spotted you buried in it on the carriage ride to the fort. Wanna read it? If you don't mind, since we finally some room to breathe. Oh, interesting. It's written through the lens of a fictional land. This bit's about the utopia security. In this world, there is no blood-stained contest for sovereignty. The people choose their sovereign from among themselves. One cannot put a sovereign to the sword to seize power. Such an act would be met with taking power or wealth by force is seen as the most shameful of transgressions. <laughs> Couldn't be further from reality, could it? We have a kingslayer on the brink of seizing the throne right now. And this idea of competing for public support. Here it sounds so commonplace, but the idea's thrown us all into chaos. And perhaps I'm overthinking, but it sounds almost like the aim of the king's magic. You suppose there's some common inspiration? Still, I don't imagine this would turn out well in the real world. In public opinion, tribal perspective always divides us. Besides, does a decision made by the people guarantee its right? Tribal squabbles aren't always... Po Take us Clamars, for example. It can be hard for us to see outside the bubble of our own... We're the majority, and the tribe of the royal bloodline besides. That privilege can make us... insensitive. A problem with no easy solution. Lofty words. I can hardly come to terms with my own ideals. Still. The discussions helped clear my head a little. I've been so fixated on killing Luis, but... Maybe we could look into whether that's really the only way to lift the curse. <sighs> Sleep. Wait, how long have you been asleep? Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. of the brave. Slay a monster plaguing our fair people and bring its head to Oceana's capital in time. Official word is, this event's open to all. So what do you think, ladies and gents? Are you in it to watch? Stroll? Why call us so early in the morning? What is that journal? I had Fabienne bring it up. Something occurred to me, so I asked her to go through Grius's personal effects. Hey, looks like he was investigating the curse too. There's a note here. Given the spell's complexity, it must have required a scribed formula. You mean to suggest Luis possesses a written composition of the curse somewhere? Yes, 
I'd wager, even if we can't kill Luis, we might still have a shot at breaking the curse. But that attack took place years ago, didn't it? The we have little choice but to hope it's not. I'm not saying it would be easy. That reminds me. A crier for the church was handing these out. A flyer for the tournament for the throne. This popularity contest is state-sponsored now. An interesting gamble for those politicians. I like the bit about all this being in the interest of fairness, those weasels. But saying it's being organized by the state. The throne's empty. This smells like the theocracy at work. Probably. You think Forden's looking to fix the competition in his favor? He's been in first place this whole time. In the interest of fairness, remember? If he wins a fair race, he gets legitimized, and Luis gets put on the back foot. That bodes ill. Those with existing support could easily solidify their claim. Even should His Highness wake, he may lose the throne. If we don't hurry and find a way to get close to Luis, we're sunk. Ugh! What are we supposed to do? Let's enter this tournament for the throne. Huh? Hey, were you even listening to us? Besides, the prince isn't exactly in a position to take part in... Wait. It sounds crazy, but I think he might be onto something there. This could be just the excuse we need to get close to Luis. He doesn't care about your tribe so long as you prove capable, yes? That's what Zorba was saying. Which means, even though the world looks down on you as an elder, having the power to kill humans puts you in his good graces. You're going to make him a candidate for the throne? If all we need to do is get Luis's attention, then that's sure to get the job done. If we're lucky, he might even try to recruit us. I see. An undercover operation, is it? Quite a gambit. But Just to hold on a second! Getting Louise's attention is all well and good. What do you think? Having heard all this, do you want to enter the running? <sighs> no point fighting my fate. Your courage is admirable. Right. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. No matter who someone is, they deserve a fair country. If it's to help achieve that, I will stand for the prince as a candidate for the throne. Sheesh. So much for being a guide. Now you're the one leading me around. Your resolve has marked you a fine fit for the role. I have trusted you with my life before and would gladly do so again. Good heavens. Haven't you put yourself in enough danger? Listen to me. I don't want you going down the same path he did. Are you really this set on running off again? to carry on his legacy. I see. Well, I'm sure he'd be glad to hear it. I'll be cheering for you in this mess of a competition. Truth be told, I wish I could do more than feed and shelter you. What's the competition? It's a big, grand race to see who will be the next king. So you're going to try and become king? Wow! Then I'll cheer for you as loud as I can. <laughs> you have your first advocate, it seems. Suppose you'll have to actually try for the throne now, eh? Your Majesty. That was the plan from the start. <laughs> That's the spirit. 
Well, if we want Louise to notice you, we'll have to make quite a stir among the people. Does that mean you're not coming back? No, we'll be back. Although we might be a while. <sighs> I don't like when it gets lonely. Maria. But I'll be cheering for you. I hope you win the race. You'd be a good king. We'll see each other again. You better not forget. Now, we'd best get registration out of the way, but we'll need some legs for the journey. It's mostly lawless wastes between cities. Judging by this specified deadline, we are unlikely to reach the Principality of Oceana's capital in time on foot. I bet all these fancy nobles have their own gauntlet runners to ride in. A carriage might save our chances, if we could find one. Perhaps we split up for now. I'll leave you two to the registration. They should be taking entrance at the recruitment center. This should be the place, right? Excuse us. We're looking to join the tournament for the throne. I be young, ain't ya? And who's the kid? He with you? I'm the one entering. You? Really? I've not heard of any age restrictions. There a problem? Well, I'd not have thought it. But you're an elder, ain't ya? And you wanna be king. Well, the novelty of it might win you some looks. Could you just do your job, please? Can he register or not? Ah, an elder. Now that I think of it, weren't you in that pack of recruits that went off to the northern fort? Thought I heard they were all wiped out. What? We got a deserter turning up. No, they said he'd just dragged the company down, so they left him at the capital. He, um, got on the captain's bad side. Could swear I've seen you before, too. Well, hardly matters with no captain to verify with. Go on, then. You can represent the lesser tribes so nobody complains. Whew. <sighs> that was a close one. And, uh, obviously, you're gonna need a carriage. Otherwise, the whole thing's off for you. Now, you're obligated to attend the opening ceremony tomorrow. It'll be at the plaza at... We'll have to hope Hulkenberg can find us a carriage. As for us, I expect we should see about finding a monster to slay. Some postings over there. They should be offering bounties on monsters the guard can't handle. Let's take a look. Looks like everyone else had the same idea. One of these bounties is bound to make me stand out. But which? Bigger is probably better. Hang on! There's nothing but small-time contracts here! Are you lot here for this tournament, then? Bit slow, I'm afraid. Most of my worthiest monster bills have already been snapped up by other competitors. How about requests on anything aside from monsters? Bounties include criminals, too, right? Hmm. I suppose I've got one of those, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Well, he's horrible. Heisme. A villainous kidnapper. Looks like the army's been trying to catch him for a while now. This might just be perfect. <laughs> Do you have any idea who that is? That man's an elite. An ex-royal knight, they say. He'd make short work of a scrawny little urchin. You can be sure of that. Besides, didn't you hear what it is they're actually looking for? Oh, of course. It's about whoever can bring in the biggest monster head, right? 
If you imbeciles can't even get that straight, you've no chance of winning. They want kingly types, not children play-acting. Stuck up, little... Is that the kind of competition we can expect? He was right about the rules, though. What are you thinking? Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. We're supposed to get a monster's head. So why are you going for a criminal? Any idea what he's up to? to stop the criminal's evil deeds. We've got more important things to worry about. Don't worry. I'll explain everything later. As long as you can convince Hulkenberg, I guess. Ho oh, there! Are you really taking the bounty on Heisme? <sighs> you three must be heaven sent. Please, would you listen to our plight? You're... Barden. Gentlemen, I'm Barden, a guard captain for Matira, a town to the south. A guard captain? This fellow's made some powerful enemies. We can't afford lenience. On top of his past crimes, Heisme has stooped to abducting our wee ones. Our children. Selling them off, some say.
If our city becomes known for nightly disappearances, what sane resident would stay? Community and trade will dwindle and die. But he's just a lone kidnapper, right? Even if he's some infamous criminal. That's the trouble. He makes us hide out somewhere too dangerous for our soldiers to tread. We've no idea how he manages to operate out there without getting devoured himself. I see. Tricky problem indeed. I had no choice but to swallow my pride and post a bounty. Yet no matter how many times I renew the bill, none have taken it. A pitiful sight, isn't it? A soldier who can protect his home, whether by strength or by surrender. Laugh if you must. We just want to help you. You only cast away your honor in the name of protection. Nothing pitiful in that. Swallow your pride no more, man. We'll take your contract. Ah, thanks to you. That you'd accept such a perilous request, even with this tournament looming over everything. Closure, Thank you all. And thank God for bringing you to me. In that case, we shall meet to Martira, the old castle town. Please, make haste. Well, no backing out of this now. You sure this is what we want? The way I see it, if we want to make a big impact this late, it's going to take some creativity. Besides, this is apparently a knight-turned-kidnapper. The man can't be allowed to go on. What would... I guess that's fair. I'll convince Hulkenberg. Somehow. You go on and accept the contract.
No, thank you.
by now. What to do? What to do? I can't forgive that, no, sir.
now. Hmm? Hey! No registration issues, I trust? No, indeed. And we found ourselves a perfect target. Fine work. Stroll. See? She's convinced. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it. I'll prepare a map of the surrounding areas as well. But never mind that. Have you found us a kingly carriage? Well, I have made some arrangements. How best to put it? The vessel itself is without peer. Uh, you don't sound too sure about that. Oh, uh, no, I'm certain. All I mean to say is, well... Well, under the circumstances, I'll take what we can get. And setting that up in a day? Not so bad having a knight on our side. <laughs> you needn't speak so. In truth, I've just resigned from the Knight's Order. Though it is only my bond of service I relinquish, not my title. We will shortly be seeking Luis's esteem. Should it come to light that I am a Knight in active service, it may jeopardize our efforts. Still, you didn't hesitate to leave. I can tell you're serious about this. It was not an abrupt parting. I've come to doubt the Order since returning to find them serving the Santifex and not the Royals. Those who refused the Church's rule were cast out for their defiance. I only hope those fallen knights found useful employ elsewhere. Sounds like you've been through a lot too. Well, in any case, we can focus on our bounty contract now. Let's make sure we get some proper rest tonight.
A la puta. Oye, trátame bien, perro. Trátame bien, perro. Ay. Que todo el ver, día es que... está tumbado. A ver, es que rellenar hace... Dormir, 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 dormir. Hola, me llamo Marcos. Bienvenidos a mi gameplay de dormir. Hoy os voy a enseñar cómo dormir muchas horas. Yuhu. Ay, lo que tengo que aguantar. Chupame la pija. Bueno, servicio, Patricia. Y bueno, estamos aquí. Vamos a participar en un torneo. Bueno, un torneo. En un... No, en un torneo no. Necesitamos que hacer... O sea, cazar un bicho tocho. Porque bueno, ya sabes que aquí el, que el juego trata sobre que el trono está libre y el que vote el pueblo, por así decirlo, ¿no? El que, se, que sea más popular y todo eso, pero se convertiría en rey. Y tenemos que demostrar nuestra valía yendo por un monstruo. Aunque bueno, vamos a ir en realidad por un, un tío que secuestra y vende niños. Yo estoy aquí en mi guía Apuntando las cosillas Una guía que no pienso compartir contigo Así que Porque hasta, de aquí hasta eh, sí, sí. Mi cojones De aquí hasta que lo juegues Bueno Vamos a descansar eh, Un segundo Sí, sí Vamos a guardar Descansa para mañana. Cojones. Vamos a dar cosillas, ¿no? ¿Qué podríamos hacer? Bueno, no, literalmente no podemos hacer nada, tío. No nos deja. No podemos salir. Vale. A mí me gusta el dibujo que tiene la chaqueta de del de, de otro, ¿eh? Tipo del otro. Ah. Ya. Esto tiene ganas. Mira, ahí se ven los ratoncitos, los ves. Espera, espera. A ver, ahí se me ha quitado. No, que se lo vean los quitos. Ah, sí, sí. Eh, me recuerda mucho a. A unos personajes de. El, el, del viaje de Chihiro. ¿Lo has visto? No. Deja tanta peli miedo, tanta cosa y ve eh, películas del estudio y mi coño. Cómemela. Espera. Ya sé una cosa, ¿no? Vale, vale.
que encima de reversión encontré un caballo muy bonito, así blanco, con pequitas. Muy bonito. Espera, espera que me han hablado menos. Ah, vale, vale.
Vale, eh, ¿qué estabas diciendo, no? ¿Qué te había dicho? Eh, ah. Que me ibas a enseñar, no sé qué. Te ibas a enseñar tu pito pequeño. Chúpame la polla. Así descubriría lo grande que la tengo. Claro, no sabes por dónde tira, ¿no? Ah, sí, obviamente. ¿Te representa? Ah, sí, sí, no, sí, sí. La peñaba. Sí, sí. Me contra el espejo. Madre mía. Sí, sí, la daba. Ah, también. Vale, yo lo que te iba a enseñar... Eso no me lo iba a... Eso no... ¿Qué? Que eso no era lo que me ibas a enseñar. Ah, no, no. De nada. Qué asco, no está en inglés, en español. ¿El qué? Eh, un juego de Vocaloid. Eh, un grupo de. Que es un grupo, pero de esto de. de muñequitos. Creo que tanto. Así que pesa, ¿no? Ah. ¿Qué es eso? Hostia, me flipa. Muchísimas gracias. De nada. Eso ya no lo encuentras, ¿eh? O sea, eso ya es muy no, difícil eso ya de... No, eso ya, ya no sé. Ya... ¿Suprime? Sí. Sí, sin ninguna duda. Ya. Y encima es hace poco. Pero yo creo que fue, pasó lo que pasó y... Pues, pues, no, ya. Pero las malas experiencias crean otras personas. Bueno, a ver... Pues nada, no me deja hacer nada, así que pues toca irse a dormir, ¿no? A Mimi. A ver. Ah, que ya estamos a día 23. Es verdad. O sea, no se puede hacer nada estos dos días. Y ahora que ha cambiado, tío. Voz de los viajeros. No hay información. A ver. Exhibición de los valientes. Día del perdón. No. Ahí está. Vale, vamos a dormir. Vamos a guardar. Vamos a guardar aquí. Dale marcha atrás así. Can 
to read some more? Not today. You're all leaving tomorrow, right? I'll be cheering for you. So I... 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 Oh no! I promised Miss Fabian I wouldn't cry. It's all right. I won't tell her. <coughs> Pavel was trying to stop a bad man, you s and that's what you're all doing too, isn't it? Please come back home safe. I'll be waiting here as long as it takes. Wait for me. <sighs> yep, I'll be waiting. The next time I see you again. This one's important. Conejo frito curativo. I never got a chance to say this to Papa. Captain, may I have a moment? Good night. No, aquí nadie me deja dormir, ¿no? I was hoping for a chance to speak before we set up. Since our meeting, I've done nothing but impose on you. Now, you risk your very life for this cause. It pains me to see. When I think of how this may yet save his highness, I lose sight of all else. Such disregard, ill... Don't worry about it. Tis kind of you to say. But that book... We met once before, on a carriage bound for the capital. Do you recall? Now that you mention it, I do. My apologies. I thought only to minimize casualty. So, tis a novel envisioning an ideal world. Mm -hmm. Curious to Ah, you needn't worry. I sometimes wondered why such books were forbidden. Rumors say the Sanctists are... Yet I wonder... How could a simple book have possibly stunned them so? Do you mind if... So, it is a fiction written as if a personal account. This chapter seems to concern the system by which the nation's leader is decided. In this country, one cannot become even a statesman, much less sovereign, without the consent. Those who aspire to statecraft must first solemnly swear before the people what they will do in service of their country. Should they earn title but break their word, they are denounced and stripped of power. Such is the authority of the people. In this way, it is the people I... who are the land's true king. <clears throat> Quite the opposite of our own country. Now I see why our upper echelons would abolish such tech. Had our lands embraced such accountability, perhaps his royal highness would not have suffered such a fate. No. As a knight, it's not my place to say. I must clear my head of these fantasies. Oh, I suppose... Tis not. It takes power to walk the path of our dearest hopes. My dearest dream. Tis to say. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. No, oh, I
<laughs> Even I'm feeling the heat. Well, I suppose it's time to fan the flames. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to the inauguration of the Tournament for the Throne. For the first time, the crown is anyone's to claim, as long as the aspirants can complete three grueling challenges. Wow, a sanctus crier. He's perfect for this. Let's discuss the venues. We kick off in the west, in the Pearl of the Coast, the Principality of Oceana's harbour city capital, Port Brylhaven. There, they face their first challenge, the Exhibition of the Brave. Each contender must bring back the head of a monster, a mark of their prowess and courage. Next, our would-be monarchs head east. Upon the misty peaks, we arrive in the Principality of Montario's beautiful city of faith, Alterbury Heights. And finally, our heroes make their well-deserved return home to Grand Trad. But first, let's do introductions. It's time to meet those risking their lives for the crown. Closest to the throne, I know him, you know him. It's Sanctism's one and only 78 Sanctifex, His Eminence, Forden! Victory to Sanctifex Forden! I claim no great ambition, nor any heated calls to action. <clears throat> All I wish is to restore order for our people and to safeguard our land from the threats beyond. This chaos we face is but one of God's many trials. Let us restore our kingdom's glory together! Moving right along, we come next to His Eminence's champion, the very spear in his hand, the warrior monk captain of the Crown Theocracy, Master Dido. I come before you only in loyal service of His Eminence. I relinquish the throne to him gladly. But those who would seize the crown by force, I will teach you to fear God and to fear me! So much for this being a fair competition. How many horses do the Sanctus have in this race? No. Still, it's not over by far. The Luis supporters won't take this lying down. What cowardice, Prior! Where's Count Louise? <laughs> right, all right, settle down. At this time, I can report that Count Luis has not applied to enter the tournament. What? He's not even entering? Then what becomes of us? Our entire purpose in this race was to get closer to him. Don't worry. He's definitely paying attention. He's only in second as it is, so we can't afford to ignore this whole production. Sit tight. I'm sure he'll make a move soon. All right, all right. For those Count Louis supporters, you might want to meet our next entrant. A rising socialite, a man of ambition, godless and fearless, the brash young warrior serving Count Louis, Gladell, the black. Al siguiente que vamos a tener que avanzar. Está clarísimo. Him. So he was one of Louis's men. The fallen king embraced sanctism and all its holy tenets, and for what? Este se siente más, ya lo verás. Lord Louis. Look to the sky all you wish. No god can save you. What our country needs is power. Well, it's not quite all the contenders, but let's get on with the introductions. The great liberal merchant, it's Roger Ward. By war, by conquest, by right, it's Rudolf Kraus. In it more for the gauntlet runners than yes, the yes, so. it's Lena Caden. Sure to be popular by pledging free drinks for life. It's Loveless O'Shea. Yeah, I'm making it. The beautiful and deposing the hideous. Que lleva la dopa y se mueren los feos. Eh, es un guiño. Wow. Uh, 
A la película esta de que se mueran los feos. Por eso. Claro, coño, pero los subtítulos lo han hecho en español, ¿eh? Verá, cuando sepan que nosotros somos la tribu de los pochos. Nos van a tirar comida. Pobrecito. <coughs> by the way, the ride you applied with still hasn't arrived. And uh, if it doesn't show up by the time the noon bell rings, you're disqualified. All right? Hey, what's going on? That nitwit! What is he doing? <sighs> so. Contestants, are you ready? This is so. What? Last, I say, wait! Found your behave! A land runner? It's quick! Wait, it's headed right for the. It'll crash! Whoa! <coughs> What the heck is that? Oh, wonderful. So much for a first impression. What the hell? Isn't he a marvel, chums? You don't! You nearly brought down the cathedral! Ooh. Have a care, you fool. It was bad enough when Luis did it the first time. That feckless, shameless old fool! Not bad, kid. I guess you've got some interesting tricks up your sleeve after all. Right! I'd call that a full roster! Ladies and gentlemen, race across the land! Go! Prove yourself worthy and earn your crown! For the people, for the throne! Let the games begin! We must take to the road! <risa> bueno, no te iba a echar en menos, te digo. <risa> <It's incredible. risa> pues muy bien. O sea, paramos salir de la ciudad. ¡Eh! ¡Hostia! Me ha llamado la atención más de lo que quería. Pues no llame la atención. Uh, Pero lo suyo es eso. O sea, lo suyo es que la gente se fije en nosotros para que nos voten como futuro rey. Eh. Uh. Let's see. Hostia, tomar por culo. Por lo menos el mapa no es gigante. Ya estuvimos. Las minas, el fuerte. La capital del reino, ¿qué es esto? Vale, tiene pinta que todo esto seguramente por aquí se pueda ir. Y por aquí también. ¿Se podrá ir por aquí? Bueno. Aquí aquí. Si la situada en medio... Ah, joder, macho. Y la situada a medio camino entre el Gran Traz y lo que se pronuncia eso. La antigua ciudad murallada. Eso no es. 
sin plazo terminadas no, espérate el secuestrador vamos a por este tío hostia, rango 4 ¿qué es esto? ah, o sea, no podemos hacer otro ver info Wow. Hmm. Hostias, cuatro días. Oh. Spectacular. Otro ya perdido, ¿no? Hostia, pero o se va así todo el rato. Y uno, o sea, ¿se puede dormir así? No. Money? That man is Neurus, an Ishkia, if it was not obvious from the wings. And despite <laughs> everything, he was heir to a noble house and personal machinist for the royal family. What? He's a master engineer, of course, positively peerless. But as you can see, Are you there? I'm coming in. 